Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Today's video is brought to you by... Hello everyone! Alright, so first things first, let's get this out of the way. So it's been another year. It's gone by. How do we know that this is another year that's gone by? Well, Terry 3G's constantly reminds us with his birthday every year. Today I turn 50 been an interesting 50 years on the planet so it's been an interesting 50 years on the planet wow hmm where else would you be I tell you he does this every year it's like a little kid running around in front of strangers saying it's my birthday it's my birthday so some things came into light this is why I'm doing a little bit of a video on the t3g's uh, you all remember mama Goonie. You know, Terry was kind of messing around with Mama Goonie and trying to hit on her niece on the side. And it kind of ended badly for Mr. T3G's to where um, he had to kind of like blackmail himself out of getting in trouble between the two ladies. Yeah, you never would thought Terry 3G's would stoop so low to blackmail a woman or two women. But he did, and he tried, and there's videos out there about it. Hell, even I have it on my channel. You can go watch it. So if you're kind of wondering right now, well, there are three guitars there that shouldn't be in this picture because I've sold them. This video I took of the room that I have everything set up in. Some people call it my man cave or whatever, but uh, uh, I took this video a long time ago when the room was nice and neat and clean. Right now, there's toys all over the place. Speaking about guitars... We have a trade to announce. Now, watching this part of this video, and you will see the, or hear, kind of like the arrogance in T3Gs. Acting kind of like, hmm, I think he's better than everybody else. Hmm, that kind of comes into mind. That said, this is something that uh, some people have known is being kind of in the works for probably about the last two plus months uh, because I ended up finding out just as the individual finally came here, he works for the evil brown truck people, UPS, so he's been busy. As soon as he said that, I'm like, okay, shut my mouth about anything to do with the UPS issues that I've had and even Ben has had over the years. <laughs> so that said, so it is a guitar trade. As you can see over here, there is something missing off the rack which to people who usually have a good eye know what's missing off the rack and when I do these trade announcement things I give you know my opinion and my thoughts on what went out for what came in so again as you see over my shoulder the Made in Mexico Stratocaster parts kind of build guitar has gone out the door. Um, the gentleman who came and did the trade is definitely a adv advanced level player than what I am. He is advanced. I would say even probably like a low-level professional and for what I traded away he was here basically for a hour wait a minute here so the guy was there for basically an hour and you didn't think of pulling out the camera to show him jamming on your piece of work and for the most part, he was noodling 
on that guitar for the majority of that hour. Bullshit. Which, you know, I will say to certain parties out there that want to crap on me for my uh, guitar modding and so forth, when you have one person that actually picks up what you've worked on, gets it, understands it, vibes with it, you're not that shitty of a builder or upgrader. Bullshit. Wow, Mr. 3Gs. With all the video footage that's out there, and some on my channel, showing your soldering, showing your modding, showing your builds, and you have to say it's not bad? Wow. Another comment while he was here was he actually said he normally plays tens. He could not believe how good the eights felt. And I was like, wow. The funny part was he said he was going to put a set of tens from Didario on it. Or whatever. Bullshit. And I was like, hmm. And throughout the amount of time he was playing it, like I said, again, which was, <laughs> I would say probably about 40 plus minutes of the hour, just over an hour he was here. 40 plus minutes, just over an hour. Hmm, that's a big difference. Which one was it, Terry? 40 minutes or just over an hour? Bullshit. And we're talking about stuff. Uh, he, he said, I was going to take these strings off. He goes, now I actually might leave them on. He goes, I might actually consider him going a later gauge on some of my other uh, instruments. Bullshit. Follow the eyes and the facial expressions, and you could tell. Bullshit. So, gave compliments to it. You know, again, even though this will tick off some individual parties, but pat on the back. Bullshit. It did actually make the guitar be what it is. And again, like I said, in a sense, I didn't want to get rid of the guitar. But as I've discovered over the years, you have to move things out sometimes to make other deals or to acquire other things. Yes, because doing a trade is the only way Terry 3Gs can get other things. Why? You know I need money. All right, so enough of the bullshit. Let's see what he traded for. Now, if you look at this guitar, it does not remind me of a gentleman's guitar. It reminds me of a 20-year-old's guitar, somewhere around there in that age group. Someone who's into some type of a punk rock metal type thing. Well, with a seven string, I could kind of see that. So, yeah, I don't think this was a older gentleman that uh, ended up doing the trade. I think this was a young kid. Have you ever really looked at T3G's About page on YouTube? It kind of reminds you that he's applying for, like he's applying for a dating website. I'm a humble, honest, and sincere guy from Canada. And he puts the word whom in there, which he uses the word wrong all the time. Every time he puts it in something, he, it's not right. Anyways, all that's really missing out of there is that he likes short walks to the gas station to pick up his pizza. He likes to sit at home and play video games on a long winter night. Or, this one is kind of his best, I like to masturbate in front of my computer looking at twi Twitter pictures of half-naked women. Yeah, I said it. Anyways, it's funny because, you know, when he put down, after he says that he's from Canada, whom, if, if something needs to be said, he will do so in the right time. He doesn't say anything anymore. He used to. If you guys remember how T3Gs used to be, anytime he stuck his foot in his own ass, he would sit there and try to defend himself like crazy and put the blame on other people because he opened up his own mouth. Today, I guess he still does so in other channels. 
he will sit there and say stuff on other uh, hangouts and stuff about oh how poor or how bad he is or whatever is his life and YouTube people picking on him and stuff like that. Nothing has changed with that. It's just a lot of us don't see it anymore. I just hear about it from other people who've been to those hangouts. And then again, you know, he makes a video talking about on you know, his birthday thing. Uh, talking about how uh, if people noticed a big change in him because his stress levels have went down since his mother's passing. Well, it's never good to you know hear about anybody's mother passing. That's that's never a good thing. But it's kind of funny because he was doing hangouts. He was doing unboxing videos. He was making videos like crazy. There's hell. Sometimes he would have like like five or six videos in a row that popped up. Uh, of him playing guitar and stuff, all while he was supposed to be taking care of his mother. And his stress levels were elevated because he was taking care of... You know, it's funny because and throughout all the hangouts and stuff like that, all of us that were involved in those hangouts really never heard anything or seen a change in Terry's attitude or how he's acting about being stressed out. Now, somebody who would sit there and say that he is d dyslexic and has whatever, whatever going on with himself, uh, as T3G d does, uh, you would see a difference if he was being stressed out. Just saying. That's all. Just saying. And so there he goes again, putting the blame on somebody else. Just saying. But yeah, it's kind of funny that uh, he makes... Not only does it look like this on his about page on YouTube as far as like a, uh, what do you call, want to call it, like a dating site, okay, let's just call it that. But also his Twitter page is, is also the same way. It's like he's trying to, the women that he talks to or compliments or gives I don't know, these emojis too, uh, all have some type of a, uh, a disability, basically. Uh, some of them are handicapped. Some of them have, and you could tell just by reading what some of these women are writing that they're young, number one. Okay, they're 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 in their twenties. All right, you're a fifty year old guy. Why would you put down only want to talk to eighteen year olds and up on your Twitter account? You're fifty years old, dude yeah but yeah all these women uh, have some type of an issue that you can tell just by reading their comments and stuff and it's kind of funny too because when you look back at terry 3g's uh twitter page and stuff other people post things you know he steals things from other people and posts them up on his twitter account uh not only that is he has no original content at all on his twitter and it, it's just constantly a a a skin fest or some type of a sexual thing going on on his Twitter account yeah so that's social observation for you so I like Ben Coombs content not bad he's got some pretty good live streams he shows off some gear you know demonstrates a few things works on a few guitars you know what not it's not too, not too bad but it's funny when you watch his live streams when Terry 3G's is there he does nothing but sit there like a friggin' ape, uh, and I'm not using that as a compliment either, uh, staring at himself in a mirror, looking at the screens back and forth, back and forth. He really has not much to say about anything. And there was one of uh, Ben Coombs' hangouts that Terry was asked a question, or somebody asked Terry a question about um, finishing, guitar finishing. And he had to sit there and think about it. You know, I think Ben said something. Oh, you're the guy who does the finishing, Terry. Why don't you answer this question? And Terry stumbled. I mean, it was like, okay, you know, you are just repeating or doing the same shit that I have done in the past with using polys and st shit like that as far as a finish goes. So, yeah, your original content is not so much original. Now, it's funny also, too, because when you hear, like, Mr. 3G's make a joke... Uh, it's not so funny funny because when you watch Ben and you watch his guests, they're not laughing. 
and you really don't see anybody in the comments section really going along with Terry's jokes either. So it's like, Terry, why are you even there? It doesn't make sense. You're like a waste of space. So watching the hangouts on Saturdays, which is pretty good for Ben Coombe, but watching Monday's hangout when he's got Terry there, it's like we had a Q&A and Ben's doing most of the talking. Ben stomps all over Terry when he tries to talk, when Terry tries to talk, which is also amusing. And uh, yeah, it's quite, quite, quite funny. Anyways, this is my social observations and I hope you guys enjoyed it.